guys, it's Cameron, and today I have my back to school starting of my series. My series is hashtag prep for school with Cam. Um, you can hashtag that hashtag on Instagram. How many times am I gonna say hashtag? Anyway, you can do that on Instagram if you get any advice from this video, and I will make sure to give a thumbs up, comment on it, and, so, and follow you. So make sure you do that. And if you're not following me on Instagram yet, you should be. It's at, why do I always say that? It's Cam's Glam. So just go ahead and do that because you should be following me. Anyway, new background. I'm at my um, grounding test in Florida. And by the way, just I'm really sorry for Monday's video. It kind of got out of my hands. I don't know. My YouTube wasn't working and I'm really sorry about that. So yeah, let's just get into the video. First, I have all the notes on my phone, so if I look down, it's probably because of that. So, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about my school first. My school is a small pub, no, small, <laughs> small private Christian school, and it's very small, and it's weird, and it's different than most schools. I know most schools is 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. That's middle school. My middle school was 7th and 8th grade, but I am just going to go on like that, um, those three classes as middle school, talking about that. So, yeah. So, um, let's just get started with this video. So, going to orientation. Orientation is a big thing. You should definitely go to orientation. Um, it's a man. It was mandatory at my school, but um, sometimes I know it's not mandatory, but you can basically go see your classrooms, meet your teachers, maybe you can do that, I couldn't do that, um, see your locker, get your lock, um, that's what we kind of did, drop off your school orientation things that we did, that's what we did at my orientation, your orientation might be different, but it, you should definitely go to that because um, I think it's just great to go to that and you can see your old friends, meet some new friends, things like that. So it would be great definitely for you to go to orientation because it'll just get you prepared for school. Um, okay, so second is how do teachers treat you different? Teachers basically don't treat you different. They just don't really want to baby you anymore. So I'm talking about you're not going to walk in a straight line to everywhere. Um, they're not going to tell you, okay, write this down. Like you basically need to know how to do that yourself. Um, they probably, they're going to be still nice though, because it's not like, okay, just go, whatever, like, do whatever you want. Of course, they're still going to tell you what to do, give you rules and regulations, tell, probably tell you still what they want you to bring to class and stuff like that, but that's pretty basic, and I mean, yeah, so that's pretty basic. Um, how do they teach you different? Um, okay, so since you have many teachers now, they're definitely going to teach you a little bit different. Each teacher teaches different. So since you don't have one teacher, you're going to have many different teachers. Each teacher is going to teach you different. You basically just need to understand how that teacher is going to teach you and understand how that's going to work. Um, upperclassmen, don't be afraid of upperclassmen, 8th graders, they're not going to hurt you, um, they probably are just worrying about getting to high school, um, and they don't really care, um, but don't be afraid to ask them for help if you need help getting to your next classroom or something, and maybe you could become friends with them, I knew I became friends with 8th graders at my school, and we were good friends, so yeah. Um, switching classes, it's not that hard, just make sure you're on time and you have all of your stuff you need for that class. It's very easy and simple. Between classes, we had a three minute break to get your other books, or if you already have your other books, you can just prepare for that class, go to the bathroom or something like that. Um, switching classes isn't hard, you just basically have to know um, what time you need to be there, and simple things like that. It's very, 
simple and don't be afraid of switching classes. It's not going to be hard, guys. Org mm, okay. Organization. You have to be organized, guys. Keep your locker organized. Keep your planner organized. Keep your binder organized. Keep your pencil case organized. Keep your room organized. Basically, keep your whole life organized and you will be good for school. You will know where everything is. You will know where your homework is. You will know where basically your whole life is. Um, and that's really good. Basically, to be organized is the key um, for success. That's what I think in my mind, at least. Lockers, 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 lockers. First of all, don't worry about your combination. You're going to get it down. You're going to know how to do it. Don't worry about that. Like, and just, you just have to keep it organized. Like I said, organization is the key to school. So just keep it organized. Keep it good. Make sure you're, um, like, you know, um, how much time you have to be at your locker. Maybe you don't want to use your locker that much. Maybe you want to keep most of your books in your book bag you need for, like, your morning classes. Just basically know your school. Um... And, yeah, you just basically have to know your school and know what you need for school. Um, basically, good organization. I'm going to have a definitely, I'm going to have an organization video up. So, stay tuned for that and stay tuned for note taking. And, basically, I want to do a lot of middle school advice for my back to school series. So, that's why I wanted to start with this video. Um, a lot of my... Um, back to school videos are going to be centered towards middle school people because I ha know that a lot of you are probably in middle school. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, oh, I forgot my conclusion. Okay, so anyway, guys, don't worry about middle school. You're going to be totally fine. Definitely don't worry about it. Um, just have a good rest of your summer. Don't worry about it. You're going to be totally fine. Just have a fun rest of your summer and don't worry about school. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment below any video request you may have and hit the subscribe button. I love you guys to the moon and back and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.